When designing in Canva, it is super common to need multiple versions of the same design, such as an Instagram post and a vertical Instagram stories design. So how can you quickly and easily resize or reshape and repurpose a design? By the end of this video, you will have a clear plan for resizing, whether or not you have Canva Pro and its magic resizing tool. And before we dive in, my name is Julie and I love all of the tech and tools and systems of entrepreneurship, especially as applied to direct sales. And so I love to train direct sellers on Canva and other tools that can make your business have a little bit more joy and efficiency. There are really two steps required in order to take one design and resize it to new dimensions. The first step is you'll need to get all of your elements into the new design. And the second step is to do any tidying up or adjusting you need to do so that everything looks just great in its new home. So let's go back to this first step of just getting everything into the new space because this is what's gonna differ based on whether you have Canva Pro or the free version. And by the way, if you want to try Canva for the first time or try a free trial of Canva Pro, just go to juliegodshall.com slash Canva to get a free trial. So I'm here on my Canva design screen and I have a design ready that I love, but let's say I want to turn it into an Instagram story as well. So with Canva Pro, you have access to a magic resize tool. So to use it, just click here in the upper left corner where it says resize and select the dimensions you want. In this case, I have a square design. I want to resize it for an Instagram story, which is right here. But if you ever need to search for dimensions, you can just um, start to type in and you'll find it there. Or you can also use custom dimensions. So I could just resize it, which is going to just re resize that same design, but I still want to keep my original design here. So I'm actually gonna just copy and resize. So I'll have one design square and one is for my stories. So you'll see it took it a moment to think that through and to resize magically to a story shape. I can rename it. Everything that I need is in here ready for me to use. Now let's back up a moment because if you don't have Pro, then you're not gonna have this resize tool and moving your design over can still be done very simply, but you'll just need a few more clicks. So you can first come over, just select your design and hit Control A or Command A if you're on a Mac to select everything on the page and then copy it. So control C or command C on a Mac. And now that's on my clipboard and I'm going to just create a new blank design. So go to file, create new design and just click on the page. And now I just have to paste from my clipboard, control V to paste. You'll notice that the background photo did not get copied over, but no worries. It's just a few more clicks than you would have in Canva Pro, but I'm going to right click on my background photo, copy, and over here, paste it in. And Canva was smart enough to put it as a background again. It even has my filter applied. I had a little bit of transparency on there. That all came over with me. So it was a little more tedious, but it can still be done fairly quickly. If this is making sense so far, then give this video a like so that other people will also know that this is the solution that they need. Okay, what's next? Well, whether you moved into the new design using Canva Pro's magic resize tool, which looks like this, or with the more manual copying and pasting, which looks like this. Either way, I think we have a little bit of tweaking to do. So I'm going to do that next. See, Canva is a little bit like a moving company. So you're moving into a new house and you hire the movers. And so they're going to bring everything to your new house, but they're not gonna decide what drawer the spoons should go in or how you should arrange your living room furniture. That part is on you. And so you will need to use your human eye a little bit to figure out how you want things to look in their new home. So let's do that in this version that came over um, using the magic resize tool. I think the magic tool kind of interpreted the coming soon um, and wanted to align it with her face like it was in my old design. 
but I actually want it to be up higher. Um, of course, instead of moving the text and these underlines separately, I'm just gonna drag over both so that I can move them together. Maybe even size them up a little bit there. And then I see an adjustment that I'd like to make to these little diamonds here. So when I had them at the bottom of my square, I liked them being spread out horizontally. However, over here, I think we're going to make use of this vertical blank space and line them up vertically. Um, but that's not a problem. I'm just going to spread them out a little bit here. And my alignment of them, I need to make this a little bigger so I can do that with more precision here. My alignment of them is going to be very easy using what we learned in my other video about the positioning tools. So I'm going to first drag over all of them and center them on each other and then space evenly vertically. Um, that feels a little bit more spread out than I would like. So I'm just going to make them a little closer. Let's space evenly like that. That's better. So let me zoom out and see how that looks. So as you saw, some of those tidying up skills that we covered in my last YouTube video will be super helpful in making sure that you shuffle things around and get them looking just right in their new design. Be sure to subscribe if you want more videos like this, especially if you are a direct seller looking for great systems and tools for your business that help you to connect with your audience with more efficiency and more joy. And if that's you, you'll want to grab my free Canva for direct sellers mini course, which is packed with tons of tools and tips just like this and templates just for your business. Thanks for joining me and I will see you in the next video.